YouTube, this your boy J Diggy 92 <clears throat> That back fucking up my intro. But nah man, what's good y'all? Y'all can see in the thumbnail the title we got the top cops of 2018, man. Y'all, let's get it. I'm psyched to do this. I know this vid coming out a little bit earlier than usual, and that's only because Y'all know how to fuck YouTubers are, nigga. YouTubers, when one person started, everybody jump on it. And then everybody get tired of seeing the same damn video. Like, when one person do a top cops, everybody do a top cop. So what I'm trying to do is this the wave. I'm trying to get ahead of the wave. So I'm up here. Y'all niggas just catching up. So that's why y'all getting this shit so early. But yeah, man, look, we got 10 shoes that made it in the top countdown. But um, as always, I got to throw a few honorable mentions in that bit. So go ahead, smack that thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the God Squad. And yeah, man, let's get straight into this honorable mention number one. And I ain't going to fake this whole countdown top 10 been the fuck y'all head up let's get it so honorable fucking mentions number one i'm finna fuck y'all head up right off the jump the shoe didn't make the countdown for a particular reason um and i know y'all gonna be like nigga what 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 and, and, and the shoe that I keep doing that for, nigga, is a motherfucking Sean Werther Spoons. Oh, now you tripping, tripping. Well, get the fuck out of here. Whose man's is this? <laughs> nigga, they didn't make the cut. Look, man, I wore these bitches. They straight. But nigga, they uncomfortable for me anyways. Nigga, like, they cool. But like when I wore socks with this shit, nigga, my socks kept sliding, so I had to keep picking them bitches back up, nigga. Like this, this shoe, it's a good shoe. I like the colorway, and I know a lot of people are gonna put it in like their top three or their top one, or it's gonna at least be top five, top five. But nigga, for me, this ain't it, Chief. Um, I fuck with it. I like it, but. Maybe I just gotta break it in some more, but it wasn't comfortable for me. When I wore it in that Miami vlog, y'all seen. Um, these ain't it. It wasn't it. I still had to show some respect and show some love because this is a hard ass shoe and I really, really, really wanted it. But man, look, man. This shit low key match. But um, <laughs> I, I just, it just ain't make the cut. So. Honorable mention number one. We got two more honorable mentions. Then we gonna get into the actual countdown. So if you want a little fast forward or I done pissed you off, hopefully you ain't leave, nigga. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's get into honorable mention number two for the top ten of 2018. All right, so coming in number two for the top ten 2018 honorable mention section of this vid. Um, the shoe is special to me. That's why I made the honorable mention. It was going to get ranked higher if I didn't cop so much this year. But I copped a lot this year. Like, I think I copped over 20 shoes this year. So that's like almost two pairs a month. So it ain't make the cut. But it is special. And um, that's the Altitude 13s. These did not make the cut. But they are special because my little beauty, my little savage, my little savage beauty got them for me and shit. And um, I really wanted these. I wanted these bad. These are a grill of mine, but they just didn't make the cut because it's hard to match shit with this green. But I still love this shoe. And um, I love it because of who got it for me too. So it's always special. I would never sell this even though it was a mad GR. I don't care. I love this shoe. I love the person that got me this shoe. Thanks, babe. Honorable mentions number two. Let's get into the last honorable mention so we can finally get to this countdown. Eh? 
Alright, so for the last honorable mentions, we got a shoe I've been wearing the fuck out of. And it just didn't place high because I got some heat for y'all asses. But look, man, I fuck with this shoe. As soon as I got it, I did the on feet. Nigga, I loved it from that point on. I've been rocking the hell out of it on casual days, lit ass days. It don't matter. And that is the khaki ultra boost these jumps is stupid dumb comfortable uh, i need me some more ultra boost for show i've been wearing it a lot in the beginning of the year when i cop so it's been chilling right now i haven't been pulling it out as much because i don't want this boost to bottom out on me like foamer simpson would say um shouts out to foamy um but yeah man this is the last i will mention uh, it just didn't make the cut because i just got some heat so Let's finally get into the top 10 countdown. Uh huh. The DMX boys out this bitch. Let's go. Alright, man. So coming in number 10 for this top 10 countdown of 2018. Side note all these shoes that you see on this countdown have official reviews on my channel. Um, that's sizing help. All that shit on feet, so go check them out if you want to um, and want to get more information and shit like that because I ain't giving it out to today. Um, There's too many damn shoes to be sitting here trying to talk about sizing and shit. So just watch the official review. I try to link them below. Um, never mind, no, I'm not because that'll give away the whole countdown. But all right, so look, number 10, we got the Shadow 10s. These are another grail of mine. I wanted these bad. If y'all seen that um, International J. Cole Day vlog, I think that was vlog like 23 or some shit like that. Um, you see me actually buy these in person. Then that's when the little God of War had dropped and everything else. KOD had dropped. So that's why it was named International J. Cole Day. But these right here, I love these shoes. Um, I just love the silhouette. The tens is dumb comfortable to me. Probably the most comfortable Jordan it is out there. I ain't gonna hold you. Ones is comfortable, but tens, that's a new level of comfort because I know this shoe is mad slept on. I don't give a damn. I ain't about hype on this channel. I buy what I like. I don't let the hype consume me. Sometimes it do, but nine times out of ten it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's that one part, that one time, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, damn, these ones lit. Didn't really be like, this ain't it. But, um, look, <laughs> this is number 10, the Shadow 10. Real good shoe. I love this shoe. Got the red hits with the gray and the black. And, the, man, these these joints is dope. I really love these. These are a grail of mine. And I had to put them on this list. Um, it flip-flop between a certain pair of shoes that's not anywhere on this list. Um, but that's just because I ain't gonna forget I ain't gonna fake, I low-key, I forgot I had these and caught them this year. So, um, this is Shadow 10s coming to number 10 on the top 10 countdown of 2018. So, let's go ahead and get straight into number 9. Alright, so number 9 on the top 10 countdown of the top 10 cops of 2018. Side note, it is top 10 cops, not the top 10 shoes that released. It's the shoes I copped this year. It ain't about release dates. It's this year. If I cop this year, it's going to be on this list. So, I don't know if y'all thought it was all this year's shoes. But it ain't, nigga. So, deal with it. But, um... <coughs> what? I'm a little too hype. Uh, so, look, man. Y'all might have seen it when I did. Nah, y'all ain't seen it. But, uh, look, man. I wanted this shoe. I tried to cop this shoe a while ago. Uh, when it first dropped, I think I was, I don't, I don't think I was still in my own place. I don't remember. I don't even remember when these released, my guy. But look, this is probably the first dead stop jump that I got. And it's like the legit ones, like the ones niggas be tripping on. So you know what I'm actually, I'm actually going to talk about the shoe because I'm beating around the fucking bush. Look, brand toe ones, had to throw it on this list. I tried to cop these. Nigga, they was in my car and everything. In the car, I couldn't check out for shit. <laughs> like, God damn. Go watch the Foot Locker closing uh, thoughts in a 
opinions vid if y'all want to hear the actual fail story for this but I ended up getting them through uh, StockX if I'm not mistaken I love these shoes I'll be wearing the fuck out of these ones uh, I don't beat my ones up you know a lot of people do because they be like oh they look better and they look better when they got like wear and tear on them fuck that shit I like my shoes to look clean I don't know what everybody else do but over here we take care of our shoes yes they shoes and you wear them for sure but nigga you still gotta take care of them old dust bucket ass shoes old mop bucket ass shoes fuck out of here nigga look like you been kicking doo doo all day fuck out of here <laughs> I don't know why I'm going here, but I, I just hate dirty ass shoes. So I take care of my shoes no matter how much I wear them and shit. So this is number nine, the bread toe ones, clean classic ass shoe, uh, the red toe box, the first of the kind. And then everybody else jumped on the wave, nigga. Green and purple said, "I'm coming through, gang, gang." And then. <laughs> then just got colored toe boxes now nigga just deal with it but yeah man the bread toe ones I love this shoe um and uh I'm happy I actually managed to cop so this is number nine let's get straight into number eight all right man coming in number eight top ten cops of 2018 we got we got some heat and this ain't even heat because of whose shoe it is. It's heat because the materials is lit. Materials is there. The quality is there. So first off, we got to pay some respect, some homage, put some respect on this shoe name. As the OVO 8s, man. Look. Damn, everything matched today. This shit lit as fuck. This a whole... Y'all think I can finesse this shit? This shit kind of lit thing with the black children but uh, nah, I'm, I'm geeking um, I had sugar you know, <laughs> don't worry about me um, but look man OVO 8 little 6 god nigga checks over stripes nigga it's alright but that ain't what I like nigga I don't give a fuck I wear what I like nigga, uh, uh, that rap was ass but fuck it <laughs> but look OVO 8s, the black colorway. I like the white ones too, but it's just the white ones I know is gonna get dirty. Um, the white ones will probably look clean when they start oxidizing and shit. I think I said that right. Um, and turning like the cream color, they might look lit, but um, I don't really fuck with like all white shoes like that because them bitches just attract dirt. Like, no cap. Them bitches just love getting dirty. Like, fuck that shit. But look, man. OVO 8s, the color blocking on this shit is fire. You got the gold, gold, OVO owl, nigga. Motherfucking welcome, nigga. Welcome, motherfucker, welcome. But um, this shoe is lit. I actually love the materials they put on this. It, like, it ain't the greatest, but it's better than what we've been seeing and receiving. Um, This leather is kind of like... It's soft in a way, but it ain't like the greatest. But the, the rest of the materials are straight. Like, this shit is lit. Like, I, I love this shoe. Uh, I really never get to wear this. I wore this like once and uh, put it up. Just because some of my shoes, I fuck with them tough. But if the, if the fit ain't fire, and if, it ain't, if I ain't really like going nowhere, I'm going to the mall. I ain't really pulling out no heat, cuz I ain't. I'm grown. The fuck I'm going to the mall to impress motherfuckers that have never seen me in handful. I got a whole girl. I don't give a shit about impressing y'all bitches. My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, look, man, look, that's just me. I, niggas be getting fresh to go to the damn grocery store, nigga. That's not me. I don't, I don't do that, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I throw a hoodie on. The same shit, you know, off topic. Let's get back. Um, OVO 8s, man, in a black colorway. Shout out to Stock X once again. Cop these from Stock X. Go watch that review if uh, you want to see the full in depth, in depthedness. Um, and yeah, man, this is number eight. The OVO 8s in the black colorway. Let's go ahead and get straight into number seven. 
on the top 10 cops of 2018. All right, so next up, number seven, is a shoe that just recently got unboxed and reviewed on the channel. Um, I think this what it might have been like last month or something, something like that. It was, it's been, I don't, I don't remember shit. It was, it was recent, put it that way. It was recent, motherfucker. Recently. Yeah, recently. Uh, but yeah, man, the shoe I'm talking about is the Pharrell Human Race, the Black Holly from uh, the Holly Pack or whatnot. Um, as I said in the review, I didn't like this shoe at first, but then the more I started looking, the more I was like, yo, you can finesse a lot of shit with this shoe. And uh, for real, for real, this is like the closest we got to getting like a plain Human Race since the OG ones dropped that go for like dumb high now. Um, so like, it ain't like hella colors on this, which is why I really like it. Um, I wish this would have been like black or something. Like this little cage right here. I wish it would have been black. It would have been dope, but I get why it's not. It's actually part of like the Holly pack and it's supposed to be creative as fuck. So I get why it's not. Um, they, they for real, they just Chanel ones is just they lower in price so that's why I said fuck it I'm a cop it I really like the human race model um I got like shit like three pair four pair now yeah three I got three pairs I'm looking to cop another one as soon as that price drop um and yeah man like human race is killing it if you don't like human race I mean whatever floats your boat I'm just saying these jumps is comfortable and uh I really like how the shoe feels and how it actually looks with my style. Um, these compliment me good. So, that's really what shoes is all about. Whatever compliments you and you feel comfortable rocking, cop that bitch. So, this is number seven, the Black Human Race uh, Jones from the Holly Pack or whatnot. And yo, let's go ahead and get straight to number six on this top ten countdown. Alright, so look. Top 10 countdown, number 6. It was just beat out to the top 5 spot by this shoe um, that we're going to talk about next. But look, man, it's not like one of them hype shoes. It's actually one of them shoes that hella people probably not even hip to. And hella people probably looked over it and was like, I don't really give a damn. But look, man, this shoe, I never heard of it. Like I just said, I never knew what it was. It just looked hard. And then I got it in person, and they was dumb comfortable. This sh this whole list is like comfort based, but it's still heat. It's, it's, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm growing up, but I guess I'm maturing, nigga. Because I like comfortable shit, nigga. And I, I don't know. Maybe I just don't like my feet to hurt. But look, man, let's talk about the shoe. So today we got the Adidas Ultra Tech. I had to throw these on. This is a clean clean dumb colorway um if y'all don't really know this shoe uh if y'all hip to the dbz saga packs or whatnot this is the model they use for the vegeta jumps um so if it looks a little familiar and y'all like damn where i see that shoe from it's the vegeta jumps for real for real. it's just the uh og colorway i think this is the og colorway if i'm not mistaken if i am i'm sorry like i said i don't really know much about this bitch all i know this shit fire and this shit is dumb comfortable so a lot of time with this countdown list i just be looking at heat this year i thought about comfort and like heat so look man a lot went into making this list i made this list like three four five times because I kept switching stuff out and whatnot. And this final list right here, man, I feel like it's, it's the best list that I could have possibly came up with what I caught from this year. So the Ultra Tech Adidas fire ass shoe. I really love this shoe. This model is clean as hell. And man, the color blocking on this is fire too. Um, so yeah, man, this is number six of the top 10 countdown. Let's finally get into the top five of this top 10 cops of 2018 all right so coming in 
Number five, it just squeaked in. And number five was about to be number six. It was between these and the Ultra Tech, they was fighting for the spot. But then they both comfortable as hell. They both look fired. But really, what sold me was how much I wanted these. And that's why they beat out the Ultra Tech. So, Ultra Tech, I'm sorry, but I still put respect on your name. You are OG in the game, and I respect it. But look, man, the shoe I'm talking about is the Yacht Club Vans. These. I think these was on here recently, or if they weren't, they a little bit newer than some of the other shoes on this channel. I mean, on this uh, list. Um, I really wanted these. If y'all know me, well, y'all don't really know me, but my girl knows how much I wanted this shoe. I seen it. It was sitting. Then I forgot about it like a dumbass. Like, I don't know what it is about certain shoes. But, like, them bitches will sit. Hold up, this is my bottle. I gotta respond. I don't know what it is about certain shoes, but man, sometimes them bitches will sit until somebody talk about them shits, or somebody mention them bitches, somebody retweet some shit. All it takes is one person to fuck up everything. Nigga, I, it was like a week had passed, these had dropped. And they were still sitting on websites. I forgot about them and I don't know what the fuck happened. Because when I came back, after I had the little check or whatnot, these bitches was dumb. So, look, I'm not finna go into the whole story. Watch the review. Um, I tell the whole story of how I missed these like two, three times. And finally got them. But shout out to Sneaker Steals for this one. Especially... Because if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have copped these at all. I mean, now, these done restocked so many times that if you wanted a pair and you still ain't got one, it's either you been asleep, you keep missing it, or you really don't want these shits. You keep, you about to pull the trigger, but you like, nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to catch that body. Fuck that, nigga. I don't, be like, nigga, shit, nah, I don't really want it. I don't, I don't want that. Um, but look, man, these jumps is dumb clean. Uh, I don't know why when I look at these, I think of like Toy Story and shit. I think it's because the multiple colors and shit. But we all know Vans. I ain't finna spend too much time on them. Dumb comfortable. This is a hella clean colorway. Um, and yeah, man. I really I really love this shoe. I really like it. That's why I came in at number five. Let's go ahead and get into number four. We getting there. We getting to number one, baby. Let's go ahead and get into number four of this top 10 cops of 2018. All right, coming in at number four. It was another neck and neck. This whole top 10 besides number one. Like I knew number one off the break. Um, besides number one, it was like a fight between a lot of these. Between, I say between the bread toes and the OVOs. Then like the uh, yacht clubs and the ultra techs and now this one and the third shoe it was a lot of fights and it, it just some it just this it happened the way it happened and I'm sorry but coming in the number four we got the wave runner ah, don't click off don't click off the video <laughs> Like old Martin, <laughs> yo, don't click off the vid. But I had to put this in number four. I love these wave runners; they grew on me as time passed. And then I end up copping them. Look, man, I love them, but I couldn't make them no higher than four. You know why? Cause they ugly. They ugly in hand, but they fire on feet. So that's why I, I just couldn't make them number four. I, I, I mean, number three. And they came in at number four just because I can't have an ugly ass shoe in my top three. Damn. I, I'll put it on the list, but it, it can't be top three. So, I'm sorry, Kanye. I fuck with you heavy, but you just didn't make it. Um, I really fuck with this shoe, though. I ain't going to fake. I love these on feet. These are comfortable once you break them in. In the beginning, they kind of like, damn, this ain't what I'm expecting. But the more you wear these, the more they feel comfortable. I don't really break these out um, unless I uh, unless I really want to. 
or I got a fire fit in mind for them, then I'll pull them out. But I'm not just like the hype beast every day. I wear low key subtle shit sometimes, and these shoes are kind of hype. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I like them, but like I said, this shit's ugly. <laughs> so I couldn't put them no higher than number four. I respect them, I fuck with them tough, but. They wouldn't make it into number three. I'm sorry. So, with that said, let's get into the top three of this top ten. Just imagine I'm putting all my fingers up. <laughs> of this top ten countdown and cops of 2018. Yeah. Alright, so coming in number four. Three, they made it. Number three, I had to put this shoe on this list just because I don't know. Like, this is like my only one. This my only um, of this model in my collection. I don't have any other pairs. Uh, I've owned pairs before, but I don't have them currently because I outgrew them. And plus, I ain't really want them no more. But you I'm talking about so I can stop beating around the bush and try not to give y'all the name. I'm trying to build suspense, but I don't think it's working because I don't got shit to say to build the suspense. And I'm building it right now because I'm fucking just rapping. And we got the Calm They Garçon Converse coming in number three. Look, man, my list ain't the normal list. I told y'all I fuck with comfort and it ain't about hype. It's about how they look to me. And to me personally, these shits are crap, nigga. These shits are fire. Um, shout out to what's that shit called? Dover Street Market DSM. I copped these on there when they had the little restock. Um, luckily, I was just, I don't know what it is. Certain shoes like will restock and then they'll just pop in my head. I don't know they restock, so I'll go searching for them, find that they restock, and look, man. I just gotta pull the trigger. So, with these, I just happened to find Dover Street Market, found out these had restocked. I caught my pair. Then the next day, them bitches was gone because somebody retweeted that these had restocked. And everybody and their mama went to grab some. Um, I'm actually looking to get another pair. I want the white ones with the mini hearts all around here. So, I will have the white. And the black pair. Um, I don't want another big heart just because, I mean, it would kind of be pointless for me, um, in my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, man, I, I really like the shoe. It had to make this list. I wore this shoe a few times this year. Um, and it would, I would have been doing it an injustice because if I didn't put it on the list, I'd have been like, damn, this is a really fire ass shoe. I ain't put no respect on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, price point wasn't horrible. Um, the materials is the normal Converse, but I really like this wax bottom um, and this wax toe cap. So I had to put it on here um, just to show some love and respect. And I put it this high just because this is a very, very clean colorway, but at the same time, it's dumb simple. So look, man, Converse Comme des Garçons is coming in at number three. Let's go ahead and get into the last two for this top 10 countdown. All right, coming in, number two is a shoe. Man, I wanted this shit for so long. And I almost pulled the trigger, but I copped another pair instead. And I ain't gonna say I regretted it, but I kind of did. But look, man, with the sneaker game, like I always say, you just gotta be patient and wait, and the shit will come back around. All oh, shoes is just shoes is out there. It's just you gotta show patience and exercise patience when copping. So look, number two, we got. Sun glow human race. Look, man, I think out of all the human races, these are the best pair. I said it. I said it. Bold statement, but nigga, I said it. This low key can 
Nah. <laughs> but look, man. I made it. Oh my god, fuck it. Um, but look, man, these jumps is fire. I really fuck with the pink hits. It's a real South Beach type vibe. Uh, I've only wore these a few times. I think I only wore these once, actually. I think I only wore these once. Yeah, I definitely only wore these once because they the bottoms damn near dead stop except for that big ass block. But these are hard. I really fuck with them. Um, like I said, it's something about human races. In my reviews, it's just this back part. Just leather be stupid. But, um, like, this zone is hard. Like, I love the color blocking. I actually love the yellow cage, which on human races, sometimes I hate the color cage that they make because it throws the whole shoe off sometimes. That's why I haven't copped as many human races that I like. I like a lot of human races, actually. But, it be the, the cage, man. These big blocks in the cage, they throw the shoe off for me sometimes. Because I'd be like, damn, if you would have just put another color, it would have been fine. I would have cop for sure. But sometimes, man, I, I'd be wondering what they thinking. But this time they did it right. And I, I fuck with it. I love these. The Sun Glow Jones. Um, go watch the review if you want to learn more on human races I, I got like three pairs i caught the multi knits first or the multicolor ones and it was between those and these and for some reason i caught those because i was like i could wear more stuff with it here it is but look these had to come in number two just because of how much i wanted these and how much i love these but look let's get into the moment we all been waiting for baby Let's get straight into shoe number one of the top 10 cops of 2018. Let's get it. Look, this top 10 countdown has had some great shoes from Werther Spoons' as honorable mentions to fucking Ultra Techs coming damn near fifth. To bread toes, to Converse, nigga, we got it all. We got hella brands and everything. But the one shoe that I'm about to pull out and I'm about to show y'all made it to number one, hands down. Because as soon as I seen it, I knew I needed it. I didn't know this shoe existed. I didn't know this shoe was real, nigga. But as soon as I seen it, I knew I had to cop it. Nigga, I have not seen this shoe anywhere else in this size. It was a UK exclusive, and I'm rapping because I'm building momentum and I'm building suspense. And at number one for this top 10 cops of 2018, we got the Acid House Ones. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I said acid house one. How you fuck up? I mean, I guess it would the fuck up, fuck up. But they young ones. I said the acid house ones. Damn, cuz with the acid house young ones, nigga, these shits are fire. These shits are crack. That all acid yellow I don't know what it is about the shoe but the color blocking is amazing to me the the fucking quality is fire nigga like this whole shoe even the box it came in was special a lot a lot went into making this list like I said but when I think of number one it has to be the whole package from the box to the fucking shoe to the materials to the comfort level as well as the price point i ain't really tripping about exclusivity and how exclusive it is and how limited it is yes these are very limited from what i understand and yes they were overseas only release but look man when the stuff i talked about as far as complete package 
the acid house young one just delivered for me personally the color blocking like i said is dope the materials dope the actual box that it came in is dope if y'all want to see all that stuff go click on the actual review and on feed of this shoe but i'm telling you man if you can't get your hands on these you it's completely worth it i don't remember how much i paid for them but whatever i paid for them, it was absolutely hands down 100 percent worth it for me just because man it was a complete package like it was the the shoe fire the shoe is it's dumb hard like I'm, I'm actually speechless. I don't got words for these shits. And that's why I just keep repeating the same shit, kind of. But look, man. Asset House Young Ones had to make this list. Because if it didn't, it would have been uncivilized. Shout out to Foamy again, man. I fuck with Foamy Young Buckets. But look, man. Top 10 countdown. 2018. Top 10 cops. I keep saying countdown. I don't know why. But look, man, I'm going to kick it to J. Diggy. He'll get y'all out of here. He's going to hip y'all to some shit. And, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you for staying. And make sure you hit that thumbs up. So without further ado, let's kick it to J. Diggy. All right, so this has been the top 10 countdown for 2018. Top 10 cops. We had the fucking Werther Spoons as honorable mentions. Altitude Ultra Boost honorable mentions. Then we went Shadow 10, Bread Toes. OVOs, nigga. Then we went to the Black Hollies. Then we went Ultra Tech, Yachts Clubs, Yeezy Boost, man. Boost, man. Like I used to boost, man. <laughs> then we got only OGs, though, but you watched my last one. You know about that motherfucker. Boost, man. But look, then we went Calm That Got Songs, Sun Glows, and of course, number one. Acid House Young Ones, nigga, Young Ones. I ain't fuck up that time. But look, man, this has been the top 10 countdown of 2018. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for sticking around to the end of the vid. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, that like, and subscribe so you can join the motherfucking God Squad. Y'all already know we the best squad on YouTube. Konnichiwa, motherfucker. And if your finesse game strong, you don't go wrong. So make sure you join that squad. Join up today. You don't get jumped in. None of that shit. Nigga, the best squad. The best. I ain't gonna say the best channel, but nigga, we be putting in work. Put it like that. But look. Um, what's coming? 2019, man. I really don't know. Like y'all know, uh, I'm working right now. Um... And a lot of stuff is changing. Uh, I don't get to make vids as much. Because yes, I am still in school. And uh, I think I graduate in like May. So pray for you, boy, because it's getting rougher. Um, I just finished two finals and shit. And them bitches kicked my ass. Well, especially my statistics one. But we got it done. So look, man. 2019, man. Nothing but success. We putting it in the atmosphere right now. Nigga, you can repeat after me, you can say it with me, I don't care, but make sure you speak it, because whatever you speak, you will have. So look, man, 2019, more cops, more success. Nigga, fuck it, I'm putting it out there. 2019, I'm moving, and I'm getting my own spot, and we gonna do a motherfucking, what's that shit? My shoe collection. I'm showing the shoe collection. 2019, I don't give a fuck, but... <laughs> I'm wildin', I know. But look, man, I appreciate y'all for showing love and all the support. The 2018, man. Shouts out to all the thumbs up, all the vids, all the motherfucking shares, all the comments, all the hate. Nigga, yes, nigga. My highest vid of 2018 for show is the Desert Sand 14s, and them bitches ain't even make it on the motherfucker. On the fucking counter. But it's all love. It's all good. But look, man. I just appreciate all y'all subbing. All y'all love. All y'all support. We didn't reach the goal of the 500 subs. And I simply, I just think it's because I haven't been able to put as much content out like I used to. Every Saturday I was copping. Like back in the days. And then, like, it was long.
vlogs left and right. It was reviews left and right. It was little story times left and right. Y'all was getting flooded, so people was loving it. It's just now I got a lot of shit. And I, I can't make this business as much as I want to. But look, man, thank y'all to the real, true, loving subs. Thank, for real, for real, thank y'all to all y'all that be like, man, you got potential. Nigga, keep grinding. We fuck with you. I appreciate that shit. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I read every comment, even if I don't respond. And especially the dope shit, nigga. Special konnichiwa to you, motherfucker. Like, damn, appreciate y'all. But look. Rapping 2019. <coughs> I don't know what releases I'm copping yet. Releases that I'm copping. Felt like I said that shit wrong. Um, but look, man, I know 2019, it better come with some heat. Because, of course, as y'all can see, the stack is stacked, nigga. So, we've been copping some shit. So, look, man. Um, just show some more vids, some more love. Um, happy holidays to all y'all. I'm not sure when I put this out. Um, but look, man, if I don't get to tell y'all and I don't see y'all before Merry Criminal, and if I don't see y'all before New Year's, Happy New Year's, nigga. Get lit. Get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a vlog coming for y'all for sure. Uh, I don't know when I put this out. Like I said, I think I put it out right before Christmas. So, um... I got a Christmas vlog coming. Me and Bay gonna be unwrapping presents from each other. Then I might go out the next day and cop some shit. Man, you never know. We gotta smash a pass coming, nigga. A special edition. We got a new segment y'all ain't even seen before unless y'all watch a certain crew. Um, we gonna do our own little spin on any shit for New Year's, I think. And look, man. We got more heat coming. I got more segments I'm going to add next year. Shit I need to get back on and shit. Maybe even more story times and shit. I know y'all fuck with those. And uh, yeah, man, I'm rapping like shit. I just love and thank y'all so much for supporting and loving the boy JDiggy92, a.k.a. the Finesse God. This has been another episode of Finesse Kicks. Go ahead and follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, Snups. And Snapchat, all of that at JDiggy92. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all already should have smacked the thumbs up. Hit the like button. Nigga, tell me your cops, your top 10, your top 5, nigga, your top 3 of 2018 in the comment section, man. Shit, tell me if I fucked up and where something should have been and where this should have been. So just tell me. I want to hear it. Nigga, I ain't got shit else to do at work but read comments. Nigga, comment it up. I don't give a fuck. You just say hi. Nigga, I'll say hi too. Fuck I I'm lit. I don't know fucking why, nigga. I had hella sugar before I did this video, so I'm fucking amped. And yeah, I'm going to get up out of here because I look like a crackhead, man. <laughs> but yo, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for supporting. And 2019 is the God year. Fuck you, mean. Um, we gonna do this shit bigger and better than ever. So yeah, man, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And like I always say, I will see y'all when I see y'all.